Welcome back. It's my tutor Pinot. In this video, we are going to talk about the motion along the straight line. In order to deal with motion, we have to be familiar with few important terms. Uh, the position, which is uh, denoted by x, the time, which we all are familiar with, the term velocity and acceleration are equally important. The term average velocity is delta x over delta t which is changing the position over changing the time similarly the average acceleration is changing velocity over time period so v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1 but we have to be but instantaneous velocity is the velocity at the infinitely small interval of time delta t tends to zero then we will have the limit delta t tends to zero delta x over delta t which is the definition of derivative so the instantaneous velocity or the velocity is the first derivative of the position which is also known as dx over dt similarly acceleration is change in velocity the rate of change in velocity so the instantaneous acceleration is limit delta t tends to zero delta v over delta t which is acceleration equals to dv over dt but v is first derivative of x with respect to t so a is our second derivative of x with respect to t so it's d square x over dt square but the most important thing in this chapter is when we deal about constant acceleration so whenever the acceleration is constant whenever the acceleration is constant we have average acceleration equals to acceleration so acceleration is defined as the change in velocity over the change in time let us say we start from 0 so I put it 0 second so this will give me a t equals to v minus v, v naught so v equals to v naught plus a t so whenever the acceleration is constant we get v equals to v naught plus a t so this is very important result now we are going to use the method of calculus or the application of calculus in order to solve this equation now let us use the method of calculus in order to get v square equals to v naught square plus 2ax minus x naught in order to do so let me first define the velocity and acceleration again as velocity is the first derivative of x with respect to time whereas acceleration is the first derivative of v with respect to let me write the equation of acceleration as above a equals to dv over dt now I can write dv equals to a dt let me multiply both sides with velocity for this term so that I can get v dv equals to a v dt or v t v equals to a v is dx over dt times dt so that i can have v d v equals to a dx if you want to integrate this from some initial position v naught to v similar to for here i want to do it from x naught to x if I integrate this first term I'll get v square over 2 but the limit is v naught to v so I'll get v minus v naught both square over 2 equals to on this side we can have a x because the integration of x is integration of dx is x so we will have a x minus x naught on this side so 
we can have v square equals to v naught square plus twice a x minus x naught in this way we can derive this equation using the calculus now we also have the result I replace this value in equation 1 I will get uh, instead of v I will write v naught plus a t if I square this the second term is v naught square let me leave that as it is now I will have x minus x naught over here if I want to use the whole square formula this will be v naught square plus 2 v naught a t plus a square t square equals to v naught square plus twice a x minus x naught I can get rid of the v naught square because the same thing is in the left and right hand side of the equation which can be cancelled so now I have so let me divide both sides by 2a so 2a let me do it 2a over here and 2a over here so that I can have 2 is gone a is gone v naught t plus half a t square equals to x minus x naught in this way we can get x minus x naught equals to v naught t plus half a t square now I can solve this box for t to get v minus v naught over a if I gonna replace the value of t with this value I gonna have x x naught e and v naught term with no t term so on replacing the values of three different variables we can get other different equations as I already explained it earlier so in this way you can use this method to easily get the equation for the motion along the straight line when acceleration is constant if you are able to derive this equation on your own it's very wonderful so that you can easily use this whenever the problem arises whenever there is some missing terms whenever t is missing you can use the equation which doesn't have t whenever a is missing you can use the equation that doesn't have a whenever v is missing you can use the equation which doesn't have v and so forth I hope this video helps you understand getting the equation for constant acceleration and utilizing it for your problem related to it stay safe and healthy thank you